Hey guys, what's going on? This is Jake's Reviews coming after the review for Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Voyager Class, The Fallen. He's the uh, titular bad guy of the movie, and don't laugh at that word as much as I did, it's really immature. And he's basically the Transformers equivalent of Satan, uh, next to Unicron, of course. He's packaged as a Decepticon, and in the movie, it's, uh, according to the movie, he was the first Decepticon. That conflicts with the G1 mythology a little bit, but, you know, who's counting? It's a movie. It's Michael Bay. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Makes some pretty damn good Transformers, though. Uh, his alt mode is a Cybertronian destor destor Destroyer, although he never actually transforms in the movie. He's always in robot mode. The alt mode looks pretty cool, I think, but it feels very forced and not really well thought out. It's a bit like Ravage's alt mode in the sense that they fold up his arms and legs and they call it a vehicle. Like, you can see his feet right here, and his hands right there. And if you fold in this little panel, there's this dome staring at you. I don't know. I still think it looks really cool, and I actually rather like the jet mode. Uh, the paint is actually really nice on the figure. The orange accents here look really nice in comparison to the forest green color of the figure. I'm not really actually sure why this figure is this color. I don't know why Hasbro chose it. I mean, I guess they kind of screwed up the simple, the really difficult color of black. Just straight black. That's all they had to do. So they picked green instead. If you want a color accurate falling, you gotta go for the Robot Heroes version. That's color accurate, but uh, I don't know. It's it's just very odd that this particular color was chosen. Although the red accents look really good too. Actually, all those little shiny red butts, butts, all these shiny red butts um, look really nice. What? Uh, he doesn't roll, which you know, uh, other jets, Earth jets like Starscream roll because they have a little landing gear. But he does have these little landing gear that look kind of like skis, and they fold up. There's also two here. There's one here. And one there, and they fold up so you can get kind of action. Um, wow, I just really knocked the camera there. Uh, one thing about the nose of the jet is that it doesn't quite line up with the rest of the jet. As you can see, it kind of slopes down, and it makes the jet look a little dopey, maybe even a little sad. Um, you can tilt it up so that it lines up with the rest of the jet, but it doesn't stay very well. It's kind of floppy. Um, not the strongest hinge, and it doesn't go flush with the rest of the jet, so it looks like it's not right. And it isn't, but... I mean, this is how it's supposed to be, and it just looks kind of weird. The, actually, Legends of Class of the Fallen has fixed that problem, apparently, where instead of folding up from down, it folds down from up, and so then you get actually a good straight-looking jet. Um, I actually prefer the Fallen's vehicle mode, uh, the Legends Fallen vehicle mode, to this Falcon's vehicle mode, but that's just because of uh, movie aesthetics. The transformation is really, really simple. Really simple. Uh, because of the slap-together alt mode, it only takes them a few steps to get them into robot mode. Um, but basically, the first thing I do... Tilt the camera up here for maximum efficiency. First thing I do is unpeg the legs from the sides here. All right, rotate them down. As you can see, he's a very big boy. Oh Jesus, this would fall off. Yeah, this happens a lot. They're on ball joints. They're very loose. Um, they happen a lot when they're just trying to when you're just trying to stand them up for some reason. I don't know why it does these kinds of things, but it happens a lot. Um, fold his legs. His feet, anyway, around like so. Let's get kind of this kind of action going on here. Now, for his upper body, what you do is unpeg this, his arms, his shoulders, fold his arms down like that. Flip down this little faceplate, spin his waist around, fold down his hands, fold up his little shin, shin guards, arm guards here. Get his arms in the right place. You can see. Uh, fold up his little robo tail about to there. Right, and now I zoom out and try to get him in frame. Stand him up, which is a problem in itself. Gotta bend his knees a little bit. His knees bend a little less for his alt mode, but he has to bend them back for robot mode. And there you have Revenge of the Fallen, Voyager class, The Fallen, in robot mode. Uh, now, despite the shabby alt mode, the robot mode actually looks great. It doesn't stand up very well, and his feet do fall off, but it looks really, really good. Uh, unfortunately, the film inaccuracies only continue in his robot mode. Uh, as you can see, the Fallen doesn't really have any face to speak of. Uh, I think Prime took it. <laughs> anyway, uh, he doesn't really have a face, and in the movie, you see he's actually got like a mouth guard, teeth, a mouth eyes, all kinds of expression that goes on, and there's really nothing going on in the toy. Um, there really is kind of nothing there. Um, also, uh, another thing that's wrong with him, um, the uh, Fallen's little beard, these little things on the side here, which are made of nice little soft rubber plastic, they're blue in the movie, and they're just straight green, they're straight unpainted plastic on the toy. Um, 
you'd think that uh, they would take that kind of attention to detail on a Voyager toy, uh, especially considering he's the fallen and the main bad guy of the movie. Um, I don't know, from the look of the robot mode, it seems like Hasbro made the toy on an early movie design of the fallen, uh, when it wasn't quite finished, you know, and they did, they were still doing tweaks, which explains kind of the, uh, really weird inaccuracies to the movie. Uh, the articulation is actually pretty good. Uh, basically everything moves. You got elbow here, you got a hit, you got a swivel, you have some shoulder action, rotation, wrist swivel. It's a very tight wrist swivel, but it's a wrist swivel. Um, a hinge. His head will move forward and backwards, but not side to side. Uh, knees, swivels on the knee, thigh does this, they kind of go like that because of the transformation. His feet are on ball joints, as I said. Um, but they don't move quite at the capacity that they could. Like I said, I mean, it's just, you know, they could move a lot better. He could have had ball jointed shoulders or something like that. Uh, and unfortunately, his feet um, really only enable him to do one pose, and that's stand there and move your arms funny. Uh, you know, that's, that's kind of all he has in terms of posability because of his feet do this little, um, as you can see, it's kind of, let's get a little close up. They do this little gimmick where they're closed and they're kind of on springs and they pop down. It's not that, oh Jesus. Um, it's not that big of a deal, uh, on a hard surface, but if you're on like a carpet, hypothetically, if you were playing with your transformers on your floor, like some man children like me do, um, his feet don't fold out quite right, uh, which is a shame. Um. They just kind of stay in this weird sort of, you know, um, uppity sort of thing. And, like, one of them will come out and it'll be kind of tilted. It's just kind of, it looks cool because, like, this is just a cool sort of action to do. Except for his feet keep falling off. Um, but it doesn't really work for the toy. It, it doesn't help anything. It just impedes his articulation completely, basically. Um, and these ankle joints are just ridiculously loose in terms of how they're, they're the way the ball fits in the socket. Um... It's kind of annoying, actually. But, um, yeah, it's just, I don't know. It, it could have been done a lot better, that whole thing. It's a shame, as I said. kind of takes away from the figure. Uh, you can clip the arms. There's little panels that fold out from the back here. You fold them out. You can clip them to his waist with soft rubber clips so it doesn't hold in very well, obviously. You can clip them to his waist for more of a, a movie-accurate look, as you can see right there. Um, but it really just further impedes his arm articulation. It's a very weird and it's kind of a detrimental feature to the toy. There's really no point to it. And these little flaps don't fold together very well in jet mode. Uh, they don't fold flush to the arm like they should, and they kind of stick out awkwardly. Um, it's just really weird. Uh, his main gimmick, though, are these little absorption panels that fold out of his arms and his and his from the back of his head. Um, as you can see, you can just hold them out right here. And then his head's on a spring load, so you pull, pull it forward, and boom. There they are. Um, they're really pretty, really nice-looking red translucent plastic, um, which looks really cool. I don't know exactly what the point of them are, but they look nice, and they do give some variation to the poses. You know, you can have them with them all folded out, or not folded, or, you know, folded in, or on one arm, or both arms, or just the head. You know, so once again, it gives you some variation in poses, so I'm all for it on this figure, with have, which has kind of limited posability due to some problems. Um... Overall, the Fallen is a really, really solid Voyager class figure. Um, it looks really nice. It's fun to fiddle with, and he actually has a pretty satisfying jet mode and transformation. Uh, people have said to me that he should have been a leader. I don't know about that. I don't think I agree. Um, you lose a lot with a leader, like normal articulation, um, posability. You lose a lot with a leader, unless you're leader prime, in which case you're perfect. Um, but you lose a lot with the leader and you get big chunky parts through the electronics. I think he's good as a Voyager, but I think he should have been a better Voyager. Um, he has his problems. Uh, he's got, you know, there are a lot of things that could have been done, but he really doesn't do anything wrong. You know, it, it's just little things that could be done. And he does, he does a lot of stuff right. He just looks kind of completely and totally badass and Pharaoh-ish. I mean, I'd say I just purchased him just for the fact that he's the Fallen and you need to have a Fallen and you're eventually the Fallen the collection. You just need to. Um... He's mostly in scale with Voyager Megatron, and that's good, too. I don't know. I would say get him. I actually like him a lot, but the public opinion seems to be pretty poor of this guy. So this has been Jake's Reviews coming out to the View for Transformers, Avenger of the Fallen, Voyager Class, The Fallen. Thanks for watching, guys.